Hello everybody, this is Lilla in rainy Hawaii. I'm by an open window and there's still a few birds chirping, but it is a gentle rain, just a gentle Hawaiian rain, and it's been raining for a few days. I wanted to tell you who the winner is of the cottage postcard, and this is the one that I was giving away this month. And the winner is Brenda Frame. Brenda Frame. So Brenda, get in touch with me. I also will leave a message on your website. So congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. There were some birdies. So while I'm here, I thought I would show you a couple of other cottagey things. I had this scrap of fabric. It's um, a canvas fabric, just a piece torn off. And I just hate to waste anything. And I thought, oh, I'll just paint a village. Not easy. This is very difficult canvas to paint on. You see the back of it. Anyway, there's the village. So that's part of it. The first house. And I love the way it's all sort of curvy on the bottom. There's the next one. And there's the next one. So there are four houses. And I think what I'll try and do is show them to you a little better this way. So there's the first house, and there's the next one, and then there's the next one. And they're all just different kinds of houses I painted, very roughly of course, but I thought that that was kind of neat to use a scrap of paper, that uh, of fabric canvas that way. And what I think I will do, because it's sort of curved on the bottom like this, I'll mount it onto something and make it into something. Don't know what. Anyway, it's another one. Also, I make little felt critters, and you probably know that sloths are popular. So this is my latest little sloth. Love making these. I sit at night watching TV or doing something, and so I make these little critters. I make all kinds of critters, but lately I've been making um, llama and sloths. Those seem to be in fashion. And I think last time I talked to you also, I mentioned about some books. These are actually small books, but these are some of the books I've put out lately, or had printed lately, and the uh, sketches, my sketches of Provence. I'll just flip through. I don't know whether you're interested in those or not, but anyway. So that's one, and then this one's called Travels in Provence. They're just small books, but they've got all kinds of nice, uh, my artwork. They're for sale, if anybody would like any of these, let me know. So that's, those are those. There's two of them, I've got lots, I've, I've just published so many. And then this one is a yearbook. And this is a copy because I've changed it a little bit, but this is my art projects, you know, like fabric and journals and so forth. And this is also for sale. Th this will be a revised edition though, that would be for sale. And that has, um, oh boy, it's hard to show you this. So this kind of thing. My art, my art there. I think I may have to hold this up. Yeah, so there you go. So this is some of my art. And this is a book for sale. And every few months, as I accumulate more art, I make more books. So I, I, I don't want to bore you with all of this, but that's what they look like. That's the back of this one, of course. Anyway, congratulations again to Brenda. Get in touch with me, and I hope you love it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.